guys, and welcome back to another episode of From the Shadows. Uh, let's take a little look, see at what's been going on in Paris over the last couple of months. They've got a lot of players bombing forward. They are playing three at the back, though, so this could still catch them out. Good tackle. Somehow ends up back with them anyway. They've got a huge amount of players in the box, and one of those is Shook. And here's one nil to the Nice. Disappointing start from us. It really is. We should be much better than this. Flying onto that now. With, we've got four opportunities. I'm just in shock right now. Luis, Cherry can turn. Noop with the strike, and that is in. <laughs> nice won, Paris won, and my god, that has been coming. Four good opportunities wasted, and we finally put it in the back of the net for Tristan Knoop. Ooh, chance free kick, and this time it is in. Thank god for that. Nice won, Paris two, and that has been coming for the entire match. We really do deserve that goal a lot. Uchan's free kick again, and oh my god, he's put another one in. Frankly, we should have scored plenty of goals in this game, but Uchan has really helped us out with two superb free kicks. Here we go, Nice 1, Paris 3. Good win in the end, but the worrying thing is we created eight clear-cut chances, and not a single one of them was put in the net. Worrying time. Whips it in, Aslan's in the box, and there's another goal for his season. Well done, Ergen Aslan. Ten goals this year. His best tally, I think, since his first season. Might even be better than that, brilliant. Christian steps up to take the spot kick and he puts it in the back of the net. Sedan nil, Paris two. Christian's definitely his first goal of the year. And that should be game over for us, really. Christian stepping up to maybe score his second penalty of the night and he does dispatch it. Sedan nil, Paris three. Two penalties for Christian and that is surely game over now. Free kick blocked. Obradovic can turn, have a shot, and he does score off the bench to replace Ivor Holt, and Obradovic does grab himself a goal. It's good to see him get on the score sheet. He needed that for confidence. There we go, a confidence-boosting 4-0 win for the youngsters in the French Cup. Perfect stuff. Steps Salu Uchan, and he's scored it. Of course he has. Uchan with the goal, his fourth, I think, of the season, and Paris have the lead in a massive game, which could give us a great lead over seventh place. And again, Dahoul. Knope. Back for Uchan. He's got another long ranger in him. Luis through for Aslan. Aslan scores. There we go. Paris 2, Lille 0. Erdogan Aslan with his 11th goal of the season. Brilliant stuff from the line. We wrap this up by half time. Uchan strike back of the net. It's 3 0 to Paris. Uchan grabs himself, a th well, his seventh goal of the season. What an important player he's been since he's come back. A really good win. 3 0 to Paris, and the run continues. Aslan bringing it forward. He's got a couple of players and he's already slotted through for, oh my god. Inside 20 seconds, Paris have the lead. Bastia nil, Paris won. Aslan's assist, Luis's goal. The perfect combination. So if we grab a second here, this should be game over. Luis has put it in the top corner. What a player he's having. What a season he is having. Two goals already in the first 10 minutes. 14 for the year. Paris lead by two goals. Support pulls it across for Aslan. Puts it in the back of the net. Bastia nil, Paris 3. The goals just keep on coming for us. We are on a roll at the moment, guys. One more. Aslan. Luis on the rebound. Hat-trick for Luis in the first half. Wow. Bastia nil, Paris 4. Luis with the hat-trick. Brilliant stuff from him. Do not let them back into this. Renstra's through and they've scored. It's a shame. We just seem to be unable to keep a clean sheet. Really disappointing. Knocked away. There could be more goals in this game for us if we fancy it. Canope will keep that in. Just whips it across. Sadibi's in there and it is 5-1 after 46 minutes. Irv Sadibi with the goal. Knope with another assist this year. My god, he's on a roll lately. Whipped across again. Sadibi clears it. Don't let him have a second one, guys. Come on, Renstra. Oh, great header from him. And that is actually 5-2. A little bit disappointed to concede two goals in this game, but we've scored five, so it's not so bad. A Fuga is really too wide for him, you'd have to say. And he's in there again, and he must score, and he doesn't. What about that for a save? Oh, they've put it in anyway. Insane. How have we let them back into this game? Bastia 3, Paris 5. This is what I mean. That's really poor. But here we go. Holt is through. He must score, and he does. Bastia 3, Paris 6, Ivor Holt's 11th goal of the season. Uh, what about this for a game? Yet again, crazy goals. There we go. 3-6. Three, three, um, unbelievable. Bastia gave us a bit more of a run than I would have expected and hoped for. Right, guys, we're back. So if we could get 150 likes on this episode because we've been doing amazing things this month, that would be magnificent. Uh, right, so getting straight into things, basically. Um... Well, let's just, just jump straight in and show you the league. Uh, the way things are looking at the moment is out, uh, it's, it's decent. You know, we've got 57 goals to our name already this year. Yeah, okay, we conceded 34, and that's my little worry. You know, three against Bastia was not good. You know, we conceded, we scored six, fine. But it's the, con the session of the three goals. that That's my problem. Uh, because sometimes we're not always going to be able to score more goals than other teams. And that's been our main issue throughout this, basically. You know, we've got 43 points now. We're seven points away from Olympic Marseille, and we're only 10 behind the leaders PSG. So there's still a lot of work to be done. But the point is we've picked up some really good wins basically uh wins that we really did deserve to get as you can see christian canope now is actually the best average rating player in the entire division uh, up there with luis who's also got himself many many assists and some a decent number of goals as you're about to see when i look at the uh, squad page now over the last five games once again christian canope though 
8.68 over the last five matches is unbelievable. Um, and now he's got 16 assists and five goals. He's been superb. Uh, truly outrageously good. Uh, Cherry, with of course, is out injured again, which is frustrating. He's got 19 goals to his name and five assists, but look after that. Luis, 15 goals, 16 assists. He will get to 20 on both of those, I think, and that'll be the first player we've ever had do that. Uh, Parche won 13 goals. Could still do with a couple more assists um, to his name. Aslan, despite not playing very much, 12 goals, 9 assists, really, really top-notch from him. Admittedly, he's played up front a little bit. Ivor Holt with 11 goals and 6 assists is unbelievable as well. Uh, Knope could do with a couple more goals, but 16 assists from that role. He generally plays as the advanced playmaker. is just is absurd. Uh, Player of the Match awards. Actually, Park J1 has got 7 of those himself, so that is brilliant to see as well. Um, key passes, well, I would say that you know there's loads of players that have got out there because we do rotate a little bit more now, which is nice. Um, it's just great to be where we are right now, but this is the... You know, I think I found a way to play against teams that play similar systems to that, uh, and that is to drop a little deeper. Um, it's worked in the last few matches. We've sort of ground out a few results against teams that play like that. Against Nice, they played three at the back, and we just tore them uh, apart, basically. Uh, admittedly, should have scored more goals, but the point is we did actually do the job. Um, so, for this one, we're going to go with... I'm tempted to go with either Holt up top instead of Aslan for this one, um, just because I feel he's better suited but i will be bringing in aslan uh, in for the here uh, because let's face it it's just probably the best decision right now aslan is a better player so we're gonna go with holt uh can you look at that holt is getting there i think he's like three stars now not quite but he is certainly getting there i'm really enjoying his work lately my goodness um he can play on the left as well so holt uh canope luis aslan Uchan, Matas, Orberg is now back, thank God. Wagner, Sadibi, Ruiz, and Calorio are very much a strong team, basically, which is important uh, and really good off the bench as well with Parche 1 and the likes to come on. That, that's our, you know, to come on to this game. Uh, Matas, uh, I'm actually tempted to put Bulens in instead of Matas for today's game. They're both, oh, actually, apparently, my assistant reckons that Matas, well, let's just see, Matas is now what? The two and a half star player, uh, whereas Bulens is what? Only, well, oh, he's about the same. I think we probably should actually be playing Matas just because he looks like he's got more room to grow than Bulens does and giving him that opportunity in the first team and he's doing alright would probably be a wise choice on our part so we're going to get into the game um, now the system isn't exactly the same uh, I'm going to make sure I turn the highlights on this time uh, sorry my brain's a bit scattered this is the fourth recording I've done today and I feel woeful um, they've got these two defenders here now last time I came up against a team like this um, it's a slight variation. What I did was I went onto here and we went to exploit the flanks to get it because they've got those two, zip, two defensive mid. There's no point in trying to go through the middle. And we dropped a little deeper. Now this works against, with this tactic anyway, it works against teams that play that sort of spread out style uh, of system. So that's what we're going to be doing for this. And it's worked generally over the last few matches. So I'd like to see if it will work again. Um, I'd like to think that we're getting a bit better at choosing little tactical tweaks to make uh, at the right times. Orberg is doing really well. Look at that. He's actually got more goal contribution and assists than Carlos Ruiz in like half the matches uh, with two goals and two assists there. Our defenders don't contribute much in terms of goals uh, from set pieces, which is a little bit of a shame, but we really don't need them at the moment when we've scored 57 in 23 in the league. Um, you know, And I'd like to see if we can get a couple more today, but this is going to be tough. Stad Rene are a really good side. They are up there in the league uh, really challenging for the title with PSG and Marseille so if we win here that would be quite something and it would really give me hope Holt's through Holt scored six minutes in Ivor Holt he starts he scores 12 goals this year already um, part of me if we do another season wants to get rid of Cherry in that summer and just see what I'll uh, see what Ivor Holt can do as our lone striker because to be honest guys He's only started seven or eight matches, and he's already scored 12 times this year. And he got himself six assists. He's much more of an unselfish player. He's got great speed. He's got agility. He's got a lot to offer, really. And we're leading, and that is a good start for the game. Possession is looking good. The chances are looking good. Um, and everything else is looking bad for a Stad Rene. And that's good, really, because we, if we can beat them, that will start to pull them a bit closer to us. And that's kind of what we're looking for here. Um, you know, we want to drop them out of the title race a little bit if we can. Oh, Luis could get that. Holt has won this now. He's got support in Aslan. If we grab a second goal, this could be really problematic for them. And we might have to change our tactics up a little bit if we were to score a second goal. Uh, Keita now, up to Simone Zaza, who is a nightmare to play against, as we found out. But the chances are, right now, if we can win this game, we'd only be six points behind the Champions League spots. And this could be the goal, the game, that if we can win it... Oh, he's going to score. He will score. Wow, he didn't score. Wonders will never cease, people. Um... But yeah, if we can win this, it would get us to within six points of them and suddenly right back into that fight for the Champions League spots out of nowhere, really, uh, moving us into fourth place. Goal difference-wise, it's superior to the teams around us. We're winning, but we're not... Well, Julian Green plays for them. 
we're not looking stupidly good. Uh, let me just see. What, are we a bit low on possession? That might be a problem. Um, and it might also be explained by their sort of, you know, let me just have a little look at the stats. Uh, oh, that's not the right button. Match stats is the one I want. Match stats. Uh, so, yeah, we're on 49% possession. So what I may do in the second half um, oh, is just tweak it slightly to get them to just hold the ball a little bit more. Uh, plus, that enables us to be a bit more defensive. Uh, but they've not really got in behind us yet, which is perfect, which is often one of our problems, is allowing teams in behind us. And I think dropping deeper against teams with this type of system seems to prevent that. Holt, can he get round him? He can. Knope, that's a poor ball, but Holt is onto this. Can he rank it too? He can't, but Luis maybe on the rebound? Not quite. Drops it back. That was a really good opportunity, and we've deserved the, the lead right now. Uh, we really probably should be two goals to the good, but one is fine for now as long as we don't do anything silly. I'm going to keep an eye on their system, though, because, whoa, they've gone very narrow. Okay. Uh, we're already on exploit the flanks. So that could, in theory, uh, actually play into our hands a little bit more because we'll have a lot of space out wide. Yeah, okay, they might have us through the middle, but we've got a lot of players there ourselves. They're going to be relying on fullbacks just like we are. Uh, this could be the battle of the fullbacks, really, to see who is slightly stronger. Uh, but that one goal lead worries me slightly. Right, we're going to make some substitutions after this highlight's planned out, and what happens in it will probably decide what kind of subs I make. Uh, if they equalise, we may have to do change things up a little bit. But if we score, uh, I'll make some sort of resting substitutions. Knope. Uh, I don't want to make the mistake we did against PSG, but oh, and Cater's gone flying through the back of Holt, and that is him dead. And by dead, I mean sent off, because those two are synonymous in this case. Uh, that's going to be real problems for Stad Rene and real, real good times for us. Seydou Cater with 25 minutes to go. We're on control. We've... They're going to have to be right. So, first things first, Aslan's not been good, and he's a little bit knackered. Uh, Tristan Knope hasn't been superb either, and we're making a lot of triple subs these days, because it's just easier at times. Um... And I'm probably going to get Bulens on for Matas, although... No, nah, we're going to get Bulens on for Matas, uh, just to keep him rested and keep him going. I could have maybe brought on Amara for Wagner, uh, as he's not been great and he is booked, but we should be okay. They're going to throw stuff at us, that much we can probably tell, but it's what we do with these situations. If we can grab a second goal here, I'll throw it on counter, and then we'll just allow whatever happens, happens. Uh, Uchan now, to Dahul, another assist for him perhaps. Ruiz, he's sort of falling away on the assist charts a little. Ruiz, Dahul, can he pull it back for someone? Parche 1's in there, off the bench, and he scored. Paris 2, stab Renner nil. 14 goals for Parche 1 this year. I wanted double figures, and he's going to get us at least 15, I'd say. Um, considering he's not played that much lately, that is great to see. Um, well, rain or snow here. Ruiz, and I think Dahul will get himself an assist, which is his first one for a little while. So he'll certainly get back into the battle for top assister in this league between him, uh, Noop, oh, sorry, Canope, and Luis. Uh, we've made all our subs, so we can just sort of, in theory, just sit out the rest of this game and just watch things roll in. That is a really, really solid performance against the team that have been challenging for the title. 2-0 to Paris FC. Dominant, really. Um, they didn't really challenge or offer anything. We're going to say yes on this. A nice victory. Well done. Great performances off the bench from Partey 1 and Dahul. Man of the match, though, goes to Luis because he's just that good. And that pushes us right back into the battle for Champions League spots now. We're only six points behind Stad Rene. 14 games left to go. I think if we can carry on this type of form, now that we've sort of found our feet, I think we can get into the Champions League. And you just never know. Maybe there's even an outside chance of us challenging for the title this year. If we can pull ourselves back up into that. But that would require quite a lot of dropped points. And that being said, I do feel there's the potential for those dropped points purely because Stad Rene... To lose, uh, not to lose, Marseille and PSG have all been taking points off of each other and dropping points here and there. Not quite as uh, clinical as you would have expected from them. So that gives us that little bit of vague hope. Now, in the next episode, um, we've also been drawing against Cherbourg, uh, who are a fourth tier side in the league, uh, French Cup now, which is good. We got ourselves past Angers, which has given us the chance to play Stan and play a few sort of uh, lesser uh, sides and also give ourselves, give ourselves a chance to play some of our um, younger players. Now, in the next episode, it's all about Napoli. Uh, that is... Oh, mate, if we can win that, get through, I think there's a real chance for us in the Europa League too. If we play the way we're playing, there's a real hope. Now, it's going to be a double live comp, so that's going to be fun. Now, we've got Nantes away next, which is going to be massive. We need to try and at least draw that. Cherbourg should be comfortable. Trois at home, they're bottom. We need three points and a massive win there if we can. San Etienne away is not going to be easy. Those games away at Nantes and San Etienne, if we can avoid defeating those there's a real chance for us continuing this brilliant run roll and we've got Napoli in between there so that's going to be massive for us anyway guys if you like what you see please do drop a like on the video that would be glorious and uh, if you haven't already please do subscribe to the channel that would be amazing as well and I will join you guys in the next episode for a double live comp double header against Napoli which will decide our fate in the Europa League I'll see you guys soon thanks for watching bye bye